<laughs> from Cebu in the Philippines, 22 years old. Always love Margie's energy. She's always smiling, dancing. She's got a little fun up here. Margie, feeble grind. Front blunt. She's the only one front blunting that smaller flat bar rail. Margie lip slide. She makes it look so easy. She's got such great style. Yeah, her style is just amazing. Oh my gosh, the board came under her feet. Still got 20 seconds. Yeah, I know yesterday in the open qualifiers, looks like she hit her elbow a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be bothering her today at all. She's tough. Tray flips. She's got the best tray flips. Just full of energy. Full of pop. She can get one more in. Watch this. Big spin. Oh, over the hip. You know, she's going to get a count. really good run. That's going to count against her. All right. I mean, the buzzer sounded pretty close. There might be a little delay for us, but yeah. it sounded like when she was coming up the bank, the buzzer sounded. So that trick will yeah. count. Feeble. Kick it off. March. That 5 0. Look at this. She almost goes to Primo, sticks it anyway, slides out. Safe. 5 0. Oh, the wheel. Fight. This is that perfect patented Margie tray flip. Sports like fakey. I was talking earlier to uh, Ant, Margie's TM, and it sounded like uh, she wasn't able to skate a ton in the past year with a lockdown at Cebu, but. She had some support from Red Bull, able to build her a training facility. Yeah. And it looks like that was helpful. But again, a lot of these skaters, it's a mixed bag of not competing for a year, nursing injuries. Yeah, the, the emotional stress of just being isolated that we all went through, too. And we're all such a global community, not seeing your friends is tough. Yeah, because they really do feed off of each other, the vibe and the energy and the camaraderie. All right, Margie, 12.06 for her first run is going to put her in the top spot. That's she pretty good. Stoked. Yeah, not even a completed run, got her up into the top spot. Do so you know what a bad place to sit right now? Margie Lynn, looking to the second place. Margie hanging on. One slide, hanging on again. Oh, kicking out. Margie to the uh, sidewall there. Her board ran away from her. Still got 25 seconds. Oh no! Margie. No grind. Stop it. Let me show you like a little glimpse of how good Margie is. Margie's smiling. She's always smiling. So the top eight from this heat will move forwards, and Margie's in a good spot. Second place. Didn't, didn't land the run that she was looking to. But in solid in that second place spot right now. And that was a good plan, you know, got off to a really rough start and then Margie just switched gears and she's like, okay, now I need to nose grind down the hub, but now I need to kick foot back 50-50 to the ledge. She stepped it up immediately, shows how smart of a competitor Margie is. And being a little bit older in this field at 22, she knows the game. It's that replay of that front side nose grind. Beautiful. Margie's a treat to watch will be absolutely loaded. Pamela Rosa, by virtue of that 33-1-2 top place, Leticia Buffoni right behind her, and Netherlands and the European contingent showing up in third and fourth, while Haise Lial in fifth, and Poe Pinson, the lone American to make it into that top eight. Guys, is that the biggest surprise for you on the takeaway from this? What, what do you think, Ken? I'm excited to see Julia up there, actually. That was a little surprising, but yep. you know, she's been around for a while. She's a fierce competitor. Um, she's also my fitness idol, so <laughs> I think the, the working out and just staying healthy has been helpful, so I'm excited. This is a shakeup for sure. Look at that page, though, guys. Duran, Sablone, Brevard, not in the final. And who would have thought that coming into today? Like, oh, there's a good chance at least one, if not 